what, what I'm uh, working on is a failure analysis of a transformer. It's right here. Um, what happened is the transformer failed at the customer site. They returned it or they sent it here for failure analysis. Um, I was able to find the problem. The problem was a capacitor. Uh, it was actually this capacitor that uh, has changed in value. It's supposed to be a 48 microfarad capacitor and it was measuring to be about uh, 200 picofarads rather than 48 microfarads. So it changed significantly and what it did to the this is a ferro-resonant transformer. What it did to that transformer was dropped its 120 volt output to around 80 volts. So that was the that was the failure mode that the customer found that the output of their transformer had been reduced. This transformer is intended to keep a very stable output of 120 volts, uh, no matter what the input is, over a range of 95 to 130 volts then it shall keep a stable output of 120 volts plus or minus one percent so it's a very tight output on this thing uh, I suspected the capacitor just from experience and I pulled it out measured it as I said it was way out of tolerance of what it was designed for so I had another capacitor and I put it in. It's actually in there now. Uh, it's, it's actually down there. And uh, when I replaced this guy, that capacitor worked, or the transformer worked fine. It put out 120 volts. Uh, I contacted the manufacturer. Uh, they uh, told me that that is a common failure mode in this design. Um, and it is actually a field serviceable part so they said if I replace that capacitor and the circuit works that this transformer would be good enough to use again and so I did already confirm that it works and what I actually did was I let it run for a week with a load so but I'm going to inform the customer that it was a bad capacitor uh, we could do failure analysis of the capacitor, but in this case, since it's a known problem with the, um, this type of transformer, and it's a field serviceable part that they would normally replace, I'm not going to do failure analysis of the capacitor unless the customer requires it. Um, instead, I'm going to tell them I recommend that they would do a... Uh, a maintenance type of service at a period of you know maybe five years that they should be periodically replacing the capacitor in use as part of maintenance and I'll write the report up I have a lot of the report done I'll just add this bit of data in to prove that the thing was very stable over the one week burn-in and that's about it